Nearly after two years, a sophisticated spyware developed by an Israeli firm, the Pegasus scandal has resurfaced and revived a massive political conspiracy. Last we heard of this snooping malware was back in 2019, when it started extracting WhatsApp chats from the phones of journalists and activists. Well, it's back in the news. While this is still a developing story and several details are still not available to us. However, it is most important to understand this devious software, its history, and how it can hack into your smartphone to completely compromise your information. What is Pegasus and who is behind it? Pegasus is a type of spyware developed and sold by Israel-based cyber intelligence and security company NSO Group and goes by other names like QSuit and Trident that was founded in 2010. Spyware is essentially a software that secretly monitors and collects information about your online activity, data on your device and a wide range of personal information. They can also control the camera and a microphone of a device. The company specializes in hacking devices and caters to various governments of the world for spying purposes. Pegasus spyware is expensive and the Israeli company says that it sells it to vetted and legitimate government agencies that who fight serious crime and terrorism and not individuals or any other entities. According to a report, NSO Group charged a total of 1,150,000 US dollars to hack 10 devices and install Pegasus on them. That sure is a lot of money, but it is still a fairly accessible price for the big guns in the market. The spyware is said to be capable of infiltrating both Android and iOS devices and tries to hack into the target's mobile devices, including using zero-day exploits. Pegasus first gained limelight in 2019 when some journalists and activists found out that their phones had been compromised by the spyware. What's scary about this spyware is that this happens without any knowledge and interaction by the victim. Because Pegasus can make its way into your phone without even your noticing and then turn into a surveillance device. How does Pegasus hack a phone? A missed call may be enough? Well, there is a reason it is taught as the most sophisticated spyware. It does not require a mobile phone user to click or open a text or visit a web page to get activated, as well as more advanced zero-click attacks that don't require owner's interaction. It works very secretly without raising any red flags. And the biggest problem is that it doesn't take much to infect a phone with a spyware like Pegasus. Hackers send a malicious link to the target's phone and if the user happens to visit the link, the spyware gets installed on the phone without the user knowing about it. Besides, there is another way of installing Pegasus through a security bug in voice calls on WhatsApp. The hackers can also install the spyware just by giving a missed call to the target's phone. Moreover, the spyware deletes the missed call entry so the users won't be able to suspect anything fishy. Once installed, Pegasus can potentially access every information available on the phone, even encrypted chats and files. It can turn the device into a 24-hour surveillance system. It can be delivered via email, SMS, WhatsApp or using the sophisticated zero-day vulnerability exploits, which are unknown even to device manufacturers. Through Pegasus, hackers can take over the phone's system, gaining access to passwords, WhatsApp messages and calls, normal voice calls, contacts, phone's microphone, and even the camera. Pegasus controversies all we know so far. In late 2019, WhatsApp, the Facebook-owned messaging service, confirmed that some 1,400 of its users in 20 countries, including Indian journalists and activists, had been targeted by Pegasus. WhatsApp brought the matter to light when it sued Israeli spyware maker NSO Group for its Pegasus spyware that was allegedly used to snoop on journalists, activists, lawyers, and senior government officials in 20 countries around the world, including India, in 2019. WhatsApp has also not said anything about who was behind the cyber attack and illegal snooping. 
NSO Group has also denied any wrongdoing and the company claims it only sells the spyware to vetted and legitimate government agencies. How to protect yourself from such spyware? There are a few ways to protect yourself from being subjected to the Pegasus spyware attack. Do not answer WhatsApp calls from numbers outside your contact list. Besides, it's recommended to not pick calls from unknown networks as well. Avoid opening links to ads and promotions from unknown senders. Opening links can lead to the spyware installing itself on your phone without your noticing and might steal your personal data. Completely getting rid of Pegasus is difficult once it's installed on a phone. In that case, discarding the phone is the only solution. In fact, factory resetting the phone might also not work as it might not remove the spyware completely. Pegasus is a targeted surveillance tool and is very expensive to get hold of and might only be used by big organizations to track high-value targets. So it's unlikely an everyday user will encounter this high level of surveillance. But with all this in light and not to forget all the previous data breaches, we would like to leave you with a question. Is it right for anyone to put a price on your privacy? We hope you like this video. For more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and tune in next Friday for another exciting video.